By all accounts, Kenneth and Anne Jeanette Murphy were not the kind of people you'd expect to be at the center of a double murder. The married parents of children ages 3 and 12, the Murphys were devout churchgoers at Second Antioch Baptist Church in Powhatan. At about 12.30 a.m. on April 14, 2000, between two and five men broke down the door of the Murphy's quiet brick house at 3010 Montcrest Avenue near Jefferson Davis Highway in South Richmond. Anjanette, 30, was immediately shot multiple times and killed. Her husband, Kenneth, 31, came out of the downstairs back bedroom wearing only a t-shirt and underwear to see what was happening. He was shot at least twice in the chest. Neighbors reported seeing three men flee the scene. The Murphy's 12-year-old daughter came downstairs from her bedroom to find her father on his knees and bleeding from the chest. The three-year-old never awoke during the incident. After rescue workers arrived and loaded him into an ambulance, Murphy said the names of some men, but didn't say whether they were the shooters, says Richmond Police Detective Levin White. Kenneth Murphy later died at the hospital. One of the guns used in the murder was a handgun stolen from a Henrico County Sheriff Deputy's car, White says. Portsmouth police later recovered the gun in 2001 when suspected drug dealers fleeing police threw it into an ice cream cooler. Two men of interest to police in the investigation, according to an affidavit given by White supporting a search warrant filed in New Jersey, are Kenneth Murphy's childhood friend Gregory Denar Mills and Mills' brother-in-law an internationally notorious boxing trainer named Carlos Panama Lewis, whose clients include former world heavyweight champ Iron Mike Tyson. Quote, I do believe both of these individuals were either there or have direct knowledge or have information that can help us, unquote, White says of Mills and Lewis. The trainer has been interviewed and it's been determined that he's been less than truthful. Quote, I'm not suggesting this trainer was the shooter, but does he have knowledge? Yes, he has knowledge, unquote. Nothing was taken from the scene of the murder, White says, and robbery was not a motive. Currently right now, I'm walking on Montcrest Drive and the house across the street right there, the little brick house. That is the house where the Murphys were shot and killed over 20 years ago. Pretty quiet street as I walk down it. Uh, I don't see really too much of any riffraff. Now, however, walking in a neighborhood in the daytime is not a real good gauge of how it really is whether you are moving into a new city or new part of your city it's always best to check out the neighborhood simply by driving around at night and just see if you see anybody walking around or just hanging around or you know what to look for you just you know you look at people's yards see how they keep their houses how they maintain their lawns and for the most part uh, pretty much everybody keeps their houses around here pretty well maintained. So this would be a neighborhood that I would uh, not mind at all living in. A very unfortunate thing that happened to them. And, you know, I'm pretty sure it was the uh, biggest news in this whole neighborhood uh, back over 20 years ago when the Murphys were shot and killed. And now we're at the second Antioch Baptist Church Cemetery about uh, 25 miles away from the murder scene. And this here is the grave of Anjanette and Kenneth Murphy. If anybody has any information on the unsolved murders of Kenneth and Anjanette Murphy, please contact Richmond, Virginia Crime Stoppers, 
04780-1000, you could be eligible for a cash reward. I'm Lamont at Large. I'll see you on the next vlog. Peace out.